Alright, what's going on guys and girls? And we are back for yet another fine edition of the Brew Review. The start of Season 2. And we got Matt as our guest again. And GMC. And the dog. The dog. And Silver Tongue. Get your ass and see them. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking up get, here. Get your ass out to see them live. <laughs> they are one of the coolest local bands ever. Oh hell Not yeah! As cool as Pantera, but well, yeah. no, I mean this is—they do all original stuff. <laughs> Get their album *The Pwn*, and they have a new album coming out here soon, yeah. or it's probably already out by the time you see this. But anyway, in tonight's feature, we have a Yingling product. Our good buddy Dick Jr. And little backstory: right before we begin this, I'd like to say that I read an article in the newspaper, August of 2013. That they had a uh, interview with uh, young Dick, little Dick. <laughs> Dick. That's cool. Little Dick. <laughs> little, Dick, little Dick, Dick Jr. He said that for a billion dollars, he would never sell the Yingling plant. So that's great news. So any fan of Yingling can be proud to know that their home brew is going to stay at home. That's all I wanted to say. You may continue. And all right. I can talk from experience that I have drank this beer before. Oh, yeah? And I recommend it. I also recommend the Sam Adams Oktoberfest. Which is kind of along these lines. We never did a Sam Adams product yet, we believe it or not. We will have to do a Sam Adams you special. Have never done a Sam we Adams. We never did any Sam Adams products yet. But oh, my Lord. Back to the subject at hand. We will. We are going to do the opening of the cap test, the body and head test. The drink test, the draft test, the after burp test, all that good stuff. Well, we never exactly said, I mean, it's Yingling, but it's Oktoberfest. Yeah, and believe it or not, as much of a fan of Yingling as I am, I have never tried this yet. Neither have I. It's a seasonal, so that's why you probably wouldn't And also it. on today's episode, we have a new bottle opener test. Yeah. This comes from Jesse James at West Coast Choppers. And we're not sure if the chain is used to twist... Or the back is used to crack. But I think That's we already know, since, since we had a yingling, it's going to be a, a twist off. Yeah, it's going to be a twist, but we're Doesn't definitely going to try the chain to twist. Let's try that I out. Mean, that Do chain, you try chains in the bedroom? I have. <laughs> That's Sorry. good to know. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll let Matt do the honors but for the, the, the to, chain is on here for a reason. It, it's yeah. It, 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 I mean, it, well, let's see. I here. mean, like, okay. Well, there it does fit I into mean, the grooves it, pretty good. It does. So we're gonna. And there's nothing. What? That's what nothing. she said. Are you kidding me? There's nothing. Well, that I could have swore that chain would have been a twist off. Yeah, it would help it twist it off. Well, that's a fail. All right, so James. go ahead and do the cap. And yep, it's a twist off. We already knew that, but whoa to the report. whoa! Look at that! Look at that! I'm oh this, man, that is sweet. This so is a very good beer. Got to do the smell. And I'm not a so fan. You do the honors and do the smell first. There's all kinds of smells coming out of that brew. Oh dear. Hmm. It's not a bad smell, but I don't know what to make of it. I hope I got that good. Hmm. You gotta figure too when you th think you think October, you think spices, you think you think pumpkin, you know, pumpkin pie, exactly. Not, yeah, in fact, exactly. what's that one that we did? It's way pumpkin. up there. It does kind of have uh, a spice kind of smell it. to it. Read um, it. Let's see. Government warning. Blah blah. It doesn't really say anything else. It just says Oktoberfest, but... You'll be impressed with this yeah. beer. He smells was born like, in October, by the way. It smells kind of like a darker beer, but... I mean, You'll be impressed. Yeah, but I wonder how... If you can see through it. It does have a little light passing through it, so it is... It's not the darkest thing, I don't all think. Right, so but, all right. I'm telling you, you'll be impressed with this beer. I, I've never tried it, so... So, who wants to be the first to do the honors tonight? I'll go ahead and do it, so... Cheers. Cheers. And he tries it. Pottsville, PA. That's a good beer, isn't it? <laughs> so. <laughs> it's, That's a very good beer. I got a flavor burst, this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> I never take anything seriously. 
It has a darker taste to it. But you'll be surprised when you dump it in the glass. Yeah, it does have a darker taste to it. A little bit darker than uh, your lager. Maybe kind of borderline black and tan, but it's yeah, it's good. All right, I so... Know. I have no complaints. I've had it before, so you guys... My know. first drink test of Season 2, Episode 51. Yingling, Oktoberfest, let's try it. <laughs> Sounds good. I have to put up with this every ta- every week. I put up with this. You can't tell me. Okay, though. number two. Number two, Flavor like Burst. Number two, since I'm wearing a Silver Tongue shirt. Flavor Burst. You can't tell me you don't like that beer. I'd fuck it. <laughs> no, it was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I'd... Really good. Ladies, even in season oh two, he's single. <laughs> I'm lame. If I had the... And we wonder why. <laughs> if I had the ability, I would flash his phone number across the stream, but I don't. No, I don't want, like, uh, so crazy people calling me. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, and Matt goes for a PBR. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to body and head. Fine, be that way. Oh, wow. So he's body and heading. And hey, I go for America. Oh, wow. Look at the head. It's It's got about three quarters of an inch there, maybe two centimeters. Do not drink <clears throat> that beer without me having a taste of it. No, no, no. You will have the draft. After burp was really good. But, I mean, color-wise... It's a caramel color. It's Very almost cool. a lager color. Maybe a little... Little oh, like a reddish color. Yeah, borderline yeah, light. Beyond lager color. It's definitely red. I'm not a Yingling fan, but I will drink that beer. It's definitely a redder beer. So I will drink that beer. You can draft. It. He'll go for the draft. I'll go for the twirl. He's swirling it. You got a twirl to mix all the ingredients together. And a Oktoberfest is a totally different beer. Yeah, I will. I will definitely agree with that. Your thoughts, even though you already tried it. <laughs> My thoughts is that's a good beer. <laughs> that's all. That's an October. That's all I can say. That's an Oktoberfest beer. I mean, that is a. It's a rich, enlightening beverage that I would have want to have, not during dinner, but maybe after. It's not one. I mean, in my opinion, it's not one of those where you. Sit down and drink the whole case. It's one of those where you it's a filler. It's get a, a dinner, six pack. Get a, a six dinner, pack of it. It's, it's an after dinner it's beer. It's an after dinner beer. But in my opinion, it is definitely case worthy. After you, the comment drink, I just said, you would drink your PBR during dinner, and then you switch. To the no, beer. he drinks his PBRs in between sips. <laughs> PBR, American Express. Don't leave home without it. Yingling, Pottsville, <laughs> PA. America, Mer- <laughs> drink it, asshole. Uh, so your rating. Um, I'll give it a very, I'll give it a high, I'll give it a four, four and a half, four and a five. Oh, yeah. Is five the highest? Five is the highest we go. I'll yeah. give that a six. <laughs> Damn, I can tell he's related to me. Yeah, if you, in case you missed it, since it's a new season, we'll go ahead and do it. Like zero, we wouldn't touch it again. Yeah, one, like San is ale. Zero to one, we wouldn't no, touch seriously, again. Seriously, I would give that beer a six. That Out of five. That's a good, like, I, that. I, I think I drank so much Yingling lager like when I was younger, but yeah, this is a very... It's not a beer to sit down and get wasted mm. on, but it, if you want a good, crisp beer, this is a good... Right. A good, enjoyable beer, in yeah. other words. Like, going back to our rating, zero to this one, we beer, wouldn't touch. Th- Two, we would get... We would drink it if it was offered to us. Three, maybe six pack. Four to five, we'd get a case of it. I'd give it a four because I would, I'd actually get a whole case of this. Maybe. Yeah. Since he did it, I'm going to do it too. Six out of five. <laughs> did it? Yeah. High five. Well, yeah. High five. You're damn... I almost like killed that the is, camera doing that. That's a good beer. Well, you're a damn Yingling fan. But this, this... Yeah, not because I'm a Yingling fan, but it, it, it really has a good flavor and it's one of those you can just sit back and enjoy. It's one of them seasonals. I kind of... I categorize it with uh, I that one on the end there. It. Dundee Summer Shandy. <laughs> It's a very one of those if they ones you take enjoy. The Oktoberfest to make it a Christmas beer. That is like a Christmas party beer. I do agree with you there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I maybe agree. relabel it with a Santa on it instead of like Santa's private reserve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that beer sucks. <laughs> Don't yeah. ever buy that. Yeah. yeah, highly not recommended for that one. But, but I mean, for uh, like October, fall. That's that's a good crisp beer to 
if you have people over. Right. And we did let it kind of sit yeah. out for a little bit, so it, it was a it, little warmer, but... Yeah, it's, it's still got a 6 out of 5 in two of our I books. I mean, believe me, it has nothing on the Sam Adams Oktoberfest, but it's a good beer. We, yeah, we we, we need to do Adams. a Sam Adams episode here real we'll, soon. We'll if you do a Sam Adams, Adams Oktoberfest, Sam Adams will be a 7 out of 5. You think? Yeah. Over the Yingling, yeah. Yeah, well, I rated Yingling Black and Tan and Yingling Lager a 10 out of 5. <laughs> 10 out of 5! 10 out of 5! Maybe a 3. That was episode 11. That was the first episode with this camera, by the way. Yeah, the, a little behind the scenes here at the brew view. The Porter was a 3. Good thing I wasn't on the Yingling tour because, like, I would have... Rated that balance of the porcelain god after <laughs> case of that. That's because you drank too many of these fuckers. <laughs> That's America. And uh, <laughs> speaking Rumble. of the porcelain gods, we will probably be debuting a new glass whenever we get it. The uh, toilet cup in Vegas set. Yeah! <laughs> I am a. Uh, Dude, I would totally want to do 44 ounces of that lap. <laughs> I I have gotten many requests to get people that. You can actually get them online. I'm not sure where, but you can get them online. Yes, so stay tuned for that in the we, future episodes. We will have a toilet glass. Event. Yes! Eventually. Yeah, it'll we'll, give Squishy Frog somewhere to throw up whenever he gets fucking drunk. I was actually Squishy thinking. Frog be like, bleh. I was thinking we could bleh, actually look, put him on top. That's how of it the is. Look, bleh, bleh, bleh. Taking a dump. <laughs> bleh, yeah. bleh, Squishy Frog, bleh. he's. he's <laughs> With his whatever glasses. No, he's drank so much beer that he. Where the hell did the frog come from? That's my that's squishy frog. He's our mascot. You leave him alone. But anyway, moving on. I hope you enjoyed this week's edition of the Brewview featuring Yingling Oktoberfest seasonal beer. And by the way, enjoy responsibly and don't spill it. See you later.